been walking on the road for about just about seven, eight minutes. And I'm almost to the spot where I cut down at. Cut down here. Pretty easy access to the creek. Uh, walk through this nasty grass. Wow. wet. Here we go though. Now, I'm not going to waste my time on this spot really. The place I want to fish is almost as far as you can see up that way. But this is probably the best spot to cross. So, like I said, I'm not wasting my time on fishing this little hole. Now, there could be a good fish out here, but of my time I can move pretty good on these rocks better than most you gotta know where to step but even I bust my sometimes it's just part of it oh. bar snakes I keep the lookout for them. If I see them, I go my other way. Other than that, I don't even really want to see them. They're not going to bother you. So it's better off I don't even see them. You fit me? All right, this is where we're going to cross. Remember, it's 52 degrees today. This water is. Yes, not. You don't. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty. My shorts up. Alright, let's get it. Let's get across this thing. I got my phone in my pocket so I can't slip up. I'm gonna roll it like deeper. Oh, I did too. Oh. Oh. Deeper than I thought. It's about up to my knees. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was going to be right over my ankles. People camping up there. This guy is watching every move I make. <laughs> How deep is that where you crossed? Been fishing yet? Where you headed? Uh, upstream. Whereabouts up there? Ah. Uh, Little ways up. Well, good luck, man. Yes, sir. Good luck with your woman. All right, about another 200 yards, and we've made it to our destination. Which this right here don't look bad. You know what? I'm gonna fish here. What's good, y'all? I'm out here today at my home. Second home here, the creek. And we're throwing shad wraps. I'm gonna start it off here. We got some pretty wild conditions today. It's 52 degrees. Just two days ago, it was 90. So it was a big drop in temperature. Um, I don't know if it's gonna have these fish active or not, but I got a couple hours to kill. So I grabbed up the old shad wrap here. Got a sunfish pattern shad wrap. We'll start out right here at this little riffle and kind of take our time, work our way upstream, y'all. You know? There we go. Okay. That was nice, man. He crushed it as soon as it hit the water. Oh, he's a good one. Look at all that grass, baby. Pete got a solid pounder right there. That is a fat small mouth. Man, that guy's pretty. Put up a nice fight too. Little baby small mouth number two. See? 
Alright. I'm picking up shop. I didn't even plan on fishing here, but it looked kind of nice. It's usually too shallow right here. Alright, so now we're back on foot. It's not easy getting to the good spots. The decent part was we managed to pick a decent smallmouth off on the way there. Alright, we're almost there. 100 yards. Closing in. And this is one of my favorite holes in this 88 mile creek that I live on to fish. Alright, this is our final destination right here. I'm not going to go up any farther. This is the hole I came to fish. I usually catch some good fish out of here. Cast this shad wrap around a little bit and try to hit off some of these rocks over there and maybe trigger a bite. There we go. I don't know what that is. It's a dog. It's a dog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There he goes, y'all. I got the hooks out. He's just biting onto it like a snake. I'm sorry, I just don't like it. I'm expecting that. Hey, Bobby. Pull them up on land. You're out in the water. There we go. That was better. Come on, stay down. Stay down. I ain't got any jump. That's a good idea. Oh, oh. Oh, he's barely hooked. I just missed one right before this. I said this is the fifth fish of the day. This is the third smallmouth, and this girl's got eggs in her. I can feel them. Good size to her. Got some black spots on her right there. Real pretty black fins. Power fish right there. That fish is top notch. This is the bait I'm using. It's been slay for me this year. I put a little bit bigger hooks on the back. Some stickier hooks. These hooks actually have a reverse barb on the outside, and then the front ones have the barb on the inside. So I feel like either way he strikes at it, you're going to catch him, you know? I'm pretty sure y'all will be able to see it, but right before I caught that fish, I had an even better one hooked. He kept coming up on me. I was letting him put on a show, so this time I made sure I cranked this one in under the water. That's what's up though. Y'all see me putting in work. As soon as I got here, it was like the first three or four casts I was catching fish. Yeah, I'm gonna go right up here to this little cove. I'm gonna pack up. I think I'm gonna leave my bag here. Wakey, wakey.
Well, they're not eating jigs. No idea why, but I'm going back to the saucy sauce. If I can get out of here, and I'm froze, by the way. I'm going through pulling these dead leaves off. They're very dry and crumbly. This should be good. There we go. I just dried them legs off. Nature's heater. Oh, it's doing wonders too. My legs are loving it. Burn me, I don't care. Alright, home base for now is rocking. That's home base. I'll be back because I'm going to be cold. Feisty, these treble hooks scare the crap out of me. Hey, 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 hey. Alright, y'all, there you go, number six. Little small guy. Little sardine, small one. There you go. Yeah, if we're counting the total fish now, I believe that's eight. Eight total fish. And we're working down still. We do not have much time, so we're moving kind of quick. It's a good chance I could bust. Ooh, look at this hole. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Man, this is a good one. Ah, oh, it's a drum. Uh, there you go. The big nasty of the creek. I can't stand those fish. Nasty. I knew I'd catch a fish right there. Ah, I didn't think it would be one of those. You got a sunfish eating a sunfish. That boy's pretty. Another baby a little smally. Five or six of them that size today. That ain't what we want. That is not what we want. There it is. There it is. I'm skiing. Check that fish out, man. That is awesome. Knock off another species on the day. Call it a day on that, baby. Yes, sir. Check that out for a way to end it, man. A nice largemouth. We don't get many largemouth in this creek. And that girl's chunky. She got some eggs in her. Man, I want to thank y'all for coming along on this little journey with me. I got one minute left. I got to make this short. Appreciate y'all watching. I'll catch y'all next time, man. Peace.